Hey friends, welcome back. So I wanted to tell you if you have not checked your mail yet today, go check your mail because you just may have one of these waiting for you, which is a 30% off coupon. Now these normally come in the emails every Thursday, but today um, I didn't receive one and I was just like, oh, I guess I'm not getting one again. No big deal because I haven't received one uh, probably in like three weeks now, if not a little longer. So um, this was waiting for me. So this is good from September 5th through the 17th. So this lasts for two weeks. So I know that I'm not gonna get one next week because this goes for two weeks. So I can either use this this Sunday or next Sunday because next week's deals do start on the 17th. And as you can see, this does not expire until the 17th. Now, there's also a little bonus coupon in here that they sent as well for $5 off of any two always discreet products. Now, this is a CVS coupon and they don't let you use these with manufactured coupons, even though it says CVS, but it's like a manufactured coupon and they don't let you use it with the manufactured coupon. See right here, manufactured coupon. So yeah, so um, I just wanted to tell you guys, like I said, if you didn't get an email, I know a lot of us always talk on Thursdays and we always discuss if we get a percent off coupon and I know some of you um, are used to getting them and if you didn't, you just may have one uh, sitting in your mailbox. Now, I know a lot of you are going to ask, how do you get these? So let me flip my camera. All right, friends. So how do you get these? It's just a hit or miss on who's going to get a percent off coupon. Years ago, I asked CVS, how do they determine who's going to get these and how do they send them out? And they told me that it was computer generated and they just send these uh, percent off coupons through your email as well to mail in them to your um, home address. Now you can go onto the CVS website and make sure your home address is on there. Also, if you don't want to do it by internet, you can definitely call them. And then once they have your uh, address on a file, then you may start receiving these uh, percent off coupons in your mailbox. Now, if you are someone like me who's coupon a long time and then you stop receiving them, well, I remember on my personal account because I coupon now with my sister's card. So this this coupon is actually in my sister's name. You guys know I've been using her CVS account for the last few months now because she started getting all of these good coupons. My sister's not a couponer. She doesn't even know how to coupon. However, she does go to CVS um, here and there and she shops like just for random things. So I, when she told me that she gets these, she doesn't even know what an extra buck is. So when she, uh, I told her, don't scan your card anymore because she doesn't even like, don't scan it because if they print, she's just going to throw them away. So she knows that if she goes there, she just uses her phone number to buy whatever she's going to buy, but she does not scan her card at the, uh, red box. So, um, like I said, so when she was telling me that she was getting these emails with these percent off coupons I was like oh well I'm gonna log into her email and I'm gonna start printing them because like I said she doesn't coupon so um right around the time when this happened let's backtrack let's go back to my CVS card so I used to get these emailed coupons every single Thursday I would get a 10 off of 40 or a 6 off of 30 or a 4 off of 20 or a 20 or 20 20 or 30 percent off coupon well after they stop come stop coming I decided that I was going to get a new CVS card and test the waters and see if they would uh, start coming. So I have two phones. So what I did was I used my other phone number and I used my other email and I signed up and everything, got my new card and I started getting those uh, percent off coupons just like the 10 off of 40. I was getting them every single week. Then once that stopped, I decided that I was not going to get a new phone number or get a new CVS card, I should say, with a new phone number, a new email. The reason why is because those only last for so long and after it stops, you can't just keep getting a new card and having a new phone number and a new email. It's just too much to keep track of. So I just kind of said, forget it. If I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't. No big deal. But when my sister started getting them, that's why I started using her account because I was getting a lot of requests to do a video using a percent off coupon. Even though I wasn't getting them, her card was, so I started using her cards to um, do the videos with the percent off coupons. And if you backtrack a few months ago, you'll remember that. And then I just stopped using my card completely because there was no point in doing three different videos um, 
with my account 20% off plus the $10 challenge. So I was like, uh-uh, I'm eliminating one of these. So I just always use her card now. And if she gets the percent off coupons emailed, I use them. If they don't come, no big deal whatsoever. Because you still get really good deals. You still get really great savings. And I remember a while back, um, I, I don't know if this was on the call-in show. I, I can't remember when it was, but um, I don't know if we were talking about it on Facebook. I can't remember. But I remember that we were all, we everybody was saying, like, unsubscribe to your um, it was on Facebook. I think it was on Facebook. We had a big discussion about it. Everybody was unsubscribing to your emailed accounts. And if you unsubscribe, uh, you would start getting the percent off coupon sent again. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do it. And then once I did it, I didn't get anything except for a $3 off extra bucks sent to my account for signing up for email, like to have my email linked to my CVS account. So when you signed up for like the email offers. So I know a lot of people were saying that, oh, that's all I got was a $3 extra buck. So that didn't work. I never started getting them again on my account either. So that's why I was like, okay, then once you start saving so much money, CVS pretty much says that you've already saved so much money. So you don't need any more of these percent off coupons. You're already a master at getting all of these great deals. We don't need to reel you in. Now, once you stop shopping at CVS for a long time, and I know some of you have told me this before, that you stopped going to CVS because um, you just stopped going there and then you started getting these coupons in the mail or coupons to your email. Of course, they reel you back in when you haven't been in a while because they notice that your card hasn't been activated or you haven't used your card in a while, and so they will send you these coupons. I get offers on my email for my CVS account every now and then um i think they sent me like an offer for the uh curbside i think it was like ten dollars off of a fifteen dollar curbside even though i had already used curbside before it was like a repeat customer they wanted me to do the deals again curbside so um i get those but still to this day and i haven't used my personal cvs card in a long time and i still haven't gotten a percent off coupon now i do check the spam folder every single thursday and i check my regular email just to see if i get one but i have not received one and it's it's been a long time i want to say over a year it's been that long since i received one so like i said if you get it you get it if you don't you don't you guys have great couponing skills already and i know you get great deals by couponing so don't be sad if you don't get it it's just a hit or miss and eventually I will not be getting these anymore um, on my sister's account. I don't get them on hubby's account and we do the $10 challenges and I don't get them on his account either. So, and I don't buy a lot of items on his card when I'm doing the $10 challenge. It's like what, $10 each week worth of stuff, like out of pocket, I should say. So I don't get them on his card. So it's no way to determine who's actually going to get them and who's not because we're not saving as much as we are on his card versus when I do my regular coupon. And so you would think that they would send it to his account, but there's none that come to his account whatsoever because I do check. So yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys, um, if you didn't get it to your email, check your mailboxes because you may be like me and not check your mail every day. And I don't want you to miss it because you might say, oh, I'm not gonna check my mail till Monday. I don't wanna look at that bill that's coming. It's the first of the month. Yes, I know, okay? Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to tell you, check it before you go shopping on Sunday because you just may have a 30% off waiting for you. I will do a breakdown with the 30% off, but I'm gonna hold off and do it until I get my coupons because I love having my coupons in my hand when I do a breakdown. It just makes it so much easier for me versus guessing on if I'm gonna get a particular coupon in my region or not. So I am going to do it. Just give me some time. I should have my inserts um, very soon. And when I do, I will bring you guys that breakdown. So I think that's it. I just wanted to go over this because it was a surprise to me when I checked my meal and I saw that little gem waiting for me. Um, I have another video. It is sitting right here in front of me. It's unbelievable. I can't wait to do it. So hopefully I'll have that video posted tonight. Um, that is all I have for you, friends. Happy Thursday. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back. And I'm just so happy. I'm just happy. Okay? Nothing can bring me down. I am just happy. I'm full of life. If you guys notice, I am full of life. 
I am just so happy. I got some news today, and it just made me so happy. So I'm just happy. Okay, I'm just happy. I love you guys. Bye.